Hi guys, it's Jason back here with another video. Today I'll be making a quick short video just to show you guys what weapon coils I use for the weapons I use the most often, and also give you the reasoning behind my choices. Without further ado, let's get right into it. First, I'll show you my two Adept Lodge Warbows, one exclusively for Shock, and another exclusively for Freeze. For the Shock Warbow, I equipped a Handling Coil with Shock as a secondary attribute, two Shock Coils, and the Painted Weapon Coil, which is one of the unique mods found in the DLC. As for the Freeze Warbow, I equipped a Handling Coil with Freeze as a secondary attribute, and three Freeze Coils. Next, we have the Tripcaster. I use this weapon mainly for crowd control when I'm fighting, say, sick sawtooths or something like that. To be honest, I find myself never really using the shock nor firewires, and instead use the blast wire like 99% of the time. So I equip 4 damage coils with just a bit of handling as a secondary attribute just so I can max out the damage. Now, moving on to the Champion Bow, this is definitely my most powerful Warbow variant. I equipped 3 Drummer's Coil from the DLC because this weapon coil is essentially made for the Champion Bow with increased Freeze, Shock, and Corruption. I added a Handling Coil as well due to the overdraw mechanic, meaning I have to fully draw the bow in order to deal the max elemental stat, so it is extremely crucial to get the bow to full draw as quickly as possible. The Striker Bow acts as my main damage dealer during combat with excellent handling, damage, tear, and fire. I equipped two untested weapon coils and one pristine weapon coil from the DLC because this combination gives me the ultimate balance between handling, damage, tear, and fire, in my opinion. I also equipped a handling coil so I can reduce the overdraw duration and deal the max damage. The Power Shot Bow, on the other hand, is the long-range weapon I use when initiating a fight from afar. But I do use the Tear Blast Arrows mid-fight to tear off machine armor and components such as Ravager Cannons and Thunderjaw Disc Launchers. I equip two pristine weapon coils from the DLC, a damage coil and a handling coil, so I can prioritize maxing out damage and handling. Bear in mind the tear stat has zero effect on Tear Blast Arrows, which is why I didn't equip any tear coils. The Ice Rail is a very fun weapon to use, with the Ice Thrower being able to deal freeze and damage, whereas the Ice Cannon is able to deal massive damage. I equipped two high bound weapon coils, which increases damage and freeze, and damage coil with handling as the secondary attribute, and freeze as the tertiary attribute. I use the Ice Cannon much more often, because I use the Champion Bow to deal freeze instead, so I prioritize damage for this weapon. Lastly, we have the Lodge Blast Sling. I use this weapon hand in hand with the Striker Bow mid fight due to its excellent handling and huge damage output. I equip the untested weapon coil from the DLC just for the plus 51% damage, two damage coils with handling as a secondary attribute, and one handling coil with damage as a secondary attribute. With the added benefit of a large blast radius, I don't have to aim as precisely as I do with any of the bows. And that's it for the weapons I use the most in the game. If you want to check out the weapon coils I use for the other weapons, feel free to finish the rest of the video. Otherwise, do like, subscribe, and share your weapon coil setup in the comments. I'll see y'all next time.